Tuhan harus ke itu bekas 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 anjutan untuk pastor saya di rumah kita sendiri. Then we go here accident four five. Then here first accident or maybe it's exactly the same percussion. During percussion, I observe there some people even strong guy big percuss also very soft. I think it's the matter lah. If you guys know how it's good lah, I just discover. I mean, for me, I can do percussion loud is because whenever I do percussion, I I really press firm on it, can press firm on the thorax, and I see it's very loud. But if you are if you if you are afraid of doing, I mean, I I know that the first time you doing the examination to M or or you get nervous, right? Your your hand will like a bit flabby. So when you flabby, see some same strength. So the 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 main percussion correctly is you must really press firm on it. Press firm. Okay, press firm. Okay, now watch it now. So you press firm on the wall, then you press. You press loud. Then percussion is easy. Then the result of percussion is either. Okay. Here we use the term clear, tympanic, band box, dull, and loudness. Correct? Okay. Malaysia, we will say clear lung sound. What? Auscultation clear lung sound or basic clear sound? I heard before. Percussion clear, what do you mean? So there is also clear sound. It's resonant, which is echo here, it's clear. Translation. Tympanic or band box is hyper resonant. Dow is dow. Downness here is stony downness. Okay. So only for that stay. We actually learn the same thing, but different language due to different translation. Okay. So tympanic is hyper resonant. To make okay, we we have to change. My we are minority. We have to go back Malaysia. We cannot change the language because we must listen. This is clear. There's two hundred people say this is resonant. So we adapt to that also. It's resonant, hyper resonant, and down and low. So you guys must know the result, right? So let's keep. Auscultation. Auscultation point is also exactly the same as vocal commutus and percussion. Until the interposter space on the left, right? Then one, two, three. Comparative start with super commutus using bell, not diaphragm. Here is bell, bell. Okay, to another part of the stethoscope, your bell, then diaphragm, 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 all the way diaphragm. Also, bell, one, two, diaphragm, one, two, three, four. Remember to twist back out of diaphragm. Just don't get nervous, okay? Even though sometimes that, okay? After that, you do that, finish. Remember, during auscultation or two, Try to ask the patient extend the thorax. It's good when you are doing all in one part, like auscultation, percussion, and palpation, and anterior part, and then posterior part. So patient will be doing just all anterior part and then you look at the and then and then and then and then and then. You can also do by depending on how you familiar of us, but the suggestion. Okay, auscultation. Auscultation is very easy. Just listen only. But to perceive auscultation is very difficult, right? I'm sure a lot of people still still confused on auscultation. What I'm doing is you. Okay. I while I'm doing this this thing, I I actually every day listen to different type of auscultation and I. Find out that there's a mistake translation or auscultation result between here and Malaysia. Not here and Malaysia, here and international. Okay. What we here use right? Cracker cavitation is same, right? And then rails for obstructive disease. Then we have pillow rub, correct? Disease. The international one, cracker cavitation rails is the same. They are the same. 
So real crackle recognition they are. This are okay. Crepitation divide into two. Fine crepitation, which is this one. Mm. And cause crepitation. Cause crepitation or cause crackles has longer and lower pitch and louder. What do you mean? Oh by theoretically I say like that or oh, how can I imagine uh, louder computation like that? So it, it sounds like like this but it's louder cool. <laughs> like paper uh? huh? like paper uh? no it sounds okay it, it sounds like it sounds like computation but louder louder and lower pitch computation mm. at higher pitch mm. fine fine one fine one they have like higher pitch uh, for me like in the beginning I don't know music what high pitch low pitch I really don't understand so once you listen like high pitch right you like you are a bit like that, like that. low pitch or oh, oh, like that something like that so computation this this they sound the same it's g -g 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 -g, but in high pitch or low pitch mm. then you have different why fine fine crackles is for pneumonia cause crackles is for uh bronchiectasis so you guys must have an idea of it okay. this is real wrong kind wrong kind is what we learned here real, but it's not true. Wrong kai is wrong kai, real is real. Okay? Wrong kai, depending on the diameter, the caliber of the respiratory tract, they have louder stuff or softer. But this one usually is uh, those experts can differentiate uh, for us, um, to hear the locals. Loud, uh, very loud, uh, soft, it's very soft, that, that. Uh, Wrong kai is obstructive disease. So how to differentiate bronchus and wheezing? Wheezing is uh, more to like on asthma. Both happen expiratory phase. Wheezing have higher pitch. Bronchi have lower pitch. Oh. <laughs> okay. Can you get it? You really listen it. And wheezing like a musical and it's longer. Mm. Wrong case is. Mm. <laughs> I, I really don't know how to do that, but this is. is uh, I can send you the the the, the MP3 uh, form of uh, this one. So, reading is longer and it sounds more musical. Is. Mm. Wrong case is. Mm. <laughs> stop and stop and very short. Mm. So this is advantageous uh, and pure rub. Pure rub, right? Different from it's, for me, right? Pure rub is very similar to cross, uh, cross crepitation. They have but pure rub got one different. We have crackle. Crackles is during happen happen during intubation phase. Pure rub both. So you see. Means inspiration and expiration phase is most of this period. <coughs> One tips to listen better during auscultation is ask the patient breathe through mouth and dominant noise. Okay, breathe through mouth, patient may breathe like this. <gasps> then you have evidential sounds by patient made. So you ask patient open big mouth and breathe like this. Why? Because like some 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 most of the patient when they come in with respiratory tract disease, they might have uh, flu or what. When they have flu, their nose is blocked. When there's block, less air is going in. When doing inspiration with less air, the sounds of vesicular or any other sound will be very very soft until you cannot hear. Sometimes you say, "You breathe in now." <laughs> like, or then you say, vesicular, I can hear. Actually, you cannot hear because the patient breathes through nose. So when you when a uh, patient breathes through nose has nose block, right? It's very very soft, like weakening vesicular sound. You like, cannot hear anything. So you ask patient breathe through mouth or make noise, like breathe like this.
Okay. This is a uh, uh, make uh, make the sound better. And then actually our auscultation, uh, each part of auscultation in two seconds, you will actually have to remember all the results. So I make a tree here. First, you have to differentiate the sound have advantageous sounds or not, which is just now I mentioned. Rails or cracker cavitation, bronchi or wheezing, and pillar These three sounds, if not present, then we are listening to nature of the sound. Nature of the uh, reading is three, two, three types of consider vesicular, bronchial, vesicular, bronchial. Vesicular sound, uh, I think you guys know, uh, inspiration longer, this normal one, and expiration one third for maybe absent. Bronchial sound is expiration, the inspiration, uh, inspiration and expiration is the same. Vesicular bronchial is, no, bronchial sound is expiration longer than expiration. You will see, you will hear, Normal inspiration is bronchial sound is vesicular bronchial is inspiration and expiration same. You are not confirmed whether the expiration uh, is longer. You can do some tests, Walker resonance test. You can ask the patient, say, one, two, three, whisper or usually it's whisper. One, two, three, one, two, three. You can hear clearly through your stethoscope. One, two, three means it transmits sounds very good. That means there's consolidation. And and you can hear percussion show down X-ray. Sure, God, that's it. Okay, this is how we do. Uh, you can do whisper, also you can do uh, like here, Chaska China, three star three. Actually, all these purpose, no matter what you, how you manipulate, the purpose is you want the sound, is it transmit, good transmit or not? Because we know hard medium very good in transmission sound. Usually never increase, it's either normal or reduced. Okay. Or absent. Normal reduce or absent. It gives uh, reduced one is like less of air going in uh, like upper respiratory tract uh, obstruction where it has less work, or very thick walls or have more thorax or anything that actually separate the wall between your alveolus and also your septic. Can be able to reduce. So absent is atelectasis, total atelectasis. The lung, the lung is not expanding at all. So must well we are. That's why right uh, while we walk around, we we will see the so uh, they describe the the, the auscultation is first intensity. Sorry, I missed a very important term. Uh, important very features is intensity compass. Intensity vesicular or non vesicular. Uh, vesicular bronchial only. Uh, vesicular bronchial. Okay, vesicular bronchial, okay. One, two, the third one, whether it's tender and vestigial sounds or not. Mm. Okay, one, two, three. So, descriptions of uh, auscultation is only three things but, um, intensity, breath, but, sound, and the nature of the sound, and also the presence of adventitious sounds. Presence of adventitious sounds. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, if you nature the problem, you can test using the transmissible test sound. Uh, by ask the patient say one two three or just catch I think I would say just catch ninety nine or what that allow to transmit the sound. Mm -hmm.